there is no more mucko and there is no more rust kitchen piff smoking so this is the roller piff smoke I stole that shit but if someone ever steals my homeless heads or tails fucking or work break strain review idea I'll be livid let me tell you that but I'm still gonna play to right, so that ain't gonna stop me they say steal off a thousand people they'll call you a genius steal off one they'll just call you a thief anyway expectations that's the fucking the subject matter for today expectations I'm expecting this joint to not taste very nice as last night when I got it whether it was down to the roll or the fact that this particular strain doesn't bode well with the amber leaf sweet nectar I'm not sure but thankfully we do have a little bit of Grandi Flora uh, California reefer to cleanse the palate if this weed don't taste too good again so we've got some Zawa or Sawa with a Z Zawa uh, I've had that one before it's spelled Z-O-W-A-H-H -H -H. Zawa Zawa power there's some Birmingham weed I got it off the Brummies and never fails to impress that Brummy reefer let me tell you the Zawa it stunk it was beautiful this one a bit more mild on the nose but it actually does smell sour Zawa never smelt sour it was different to this I'm sure it was it's been a few months since I smoked that but I'm pretty sure this is two different strains of weed we're dealing with here but anyway I smoked a bit last night wasn't impressed I think this might be the fat joint out of the 10 bags because obviously just two 10 bags in the video 10 bag of fucking what's it called um fucking lemon cherry poppers i wanted the cali pack of that a while back but it was a choice out the rimikasu uh, zq cross with fucking gelato i went with that or i could have got the cherry poppers at the time or it might have been the lemon poppers apparently the lemon poppers is far superior to this cherry poppers but anyway the 10 of the 10 I got of it yesterday was not very good at all. Moving on, I probably will try the Cali Pack a bit further down the road, but only I'll try the lemon poppers. Fuck the lemon cherry poppers, because I heard mixed things about it anyway. But the pack's are fire. It's got like that anime girl on the front and that. A bit sauce. This is meant to be Cali mids. I think it's just UK mids, to tell you the truth. But it ain't terrible expectations all right let me just throw this one out there i've came and smoked piffs down here many many times before so it's been kosher but the last few times since they've had the new doors put on they've had a metal shutter instead of the big old yellow sliding doors now people tend to pop out on me when i'm smoking a piff because it blows back in there and once second, let me just check wind direction yep it's blowing towards the go-karting again so I'm half expecting someone to come out here and move me on in the next 10 minutes this joint is definitely better than the one I smoked last night it's got a fucking lovely little tinge to it I can tell that this is the kind of, like, the kind of weed that you can mess up really easily like, it's either going to taste fire or you're going to mix up the blend a bit put too much of that unbelief in there and it's just a bad time just tastes like a fucking flavoured ciggy that and now I've had a bit of a cold over the last few days just managed to shake it now feeling fucking back on form I had it put to me like this by someone who said first time you do something for someone appreciate it second time is going to appreciate it maybe even the third whatever fourth time is going to appreciate it but when it gets to the later stages so by the time you've done something four five six times for this person they come to expect it after that sixth seventh time of you giving them something for you to then turn around and then take it away comes resentment and disappointment and i think there is a lot of truth to that there is Cause say like my boss now my new boss top geezer every day lunch goes off grabs a few bits might need some supplies to get the job done comes back what's he got a sausage roll this and that whatever so it goes off today, about 12 o'clock, comes back, nothing. I wasn't disappointed that he didn't bring one back. I had a lovely ham sandwich in my bag. I dealt with that, but I was half expecting, because it had become routine, that there were going to be a sausage roll there today, and there wasn't, and I weren't angry. 
let's just get that clear like that there's two different types of people in this world there's the man that's angry that you didn't bring him the sausage roll after the seventh time and there's the man who's understanding and wants to buy you fucking six sausage rolls back for all the times you had it before that's me or you could put it like this there's someone in this world with the hand out taking and there's other people in this world that are givers but you know us givers we do fucking realize who's the takers and who are the other givers and we do you know we appreciate that shit i expect it to be a lot further in life than i am but with that comes realization and i'll give you another angle on it if i had already achieved mass heights by this age 27 fucking it's doable kurt cobain hendo wine house you know what i mean they went a bit too big for the boots you know whatever that's another angle itself that weren't where i was leaning this but i'm not there yet and there's a realization that i probably will never be there you know what i mean i don't want mega fame i don't want mega wealth met some good characters some good cards along my fucking journey working jobs that if you had a bit of coin behind you you'd have never dreamed of working you meet good people along the way you really do like even if people are miserable half the time while they're at work there's still them little glimpses them little memories that you hold on to that you know you can look by it if you're successful in that yeah cool like you're living your best life but it's not it's not grinding is it like I'm, I'm gonna be very humble say i do make a success of myself in life because the way things are looking ain't looking too promising you know what i mean if, if i get there i get there and i'll i'll have my fucking journey as a poor man to keep with me it's no good being born into wealth one or making your own wealth too early to the point where people like the comforts once you've been comfortable like say if you're a fucking 70 year old man you've not had to work in 15 years you've fucking had every meal paid for in front of you you know you've set yourself up nicely got with a tie bride cashed in your pension early fucked up then you had to go back to the co-op that would weigh a lot more heavy on you than if you're 21 you know just on your ass never been up there and come back down it's it's right. steady man how you doing chief right. not stinking out the place is it again. you can't smell this can you no, it, smell it's it. a weak one so i figured i'd be all right happy days bro happy days that's my concerns over then but i think the cali one will probably take it over yonder or i might get away with saving the cali till later because i don't need to necessarily cleanse my palate off this shit i'm doing well but yeah don't get too comfortable too soon enjoy the journey keep humble that's all i gotta say but um expectations yeah don't expect too much from life because you're probably gonna get a bit upset by it um that's something you have to learn as you get older i think everyone's coming hot out the gates in it they're gonna make it big and fast but not everyone does unless they post on tiktok but then at the same time they're probably a bit noncy so fucking let them have it <laughs> but yeah i'm rather always gonna smoke the piff in peace not gonna cook up a cough on this one it ain't quite cough worthy but yeah all the best i found that if you have a goal that you might not reach it but if you don't have one then you are never disappointed and i gotta tell you it feels phenomenal